So the first step is to spray the miniatures with color primer. I need to make like 20 of these for unit for my Kings of War army, so it's not going to be this massive work of art. The second step is I paint all the metal parts silver. And then the third part, as you'll see in a second, is that I paint all the other details in. But the blue and the silver are the most important colors. Um, as you can see, some of the miniatures have no helmets and are female, and some of them have helmets. So the ones that are female, I need to paint their hair and skin color. I used ultramarine blue and shining silver. Uh, just remember to thin your paints, as always. Um, and ordinarily, I would be using both hands, but unfortunately, I'm also holding a camera while recording this, so I'm not going to be going into detail. Yes, as you can see here, it's much better to hold the miniature while you're also painting it. Um, this is just for dis display purposes. You won't be seeing me doing this live. Um, yeah, and you can see on here that the sword is a little bit, the paint is transparent. That's because I used one thin coat on there, so we're going to use a second thin coat to make it look better. Uh, for her, I painted her whole head with mummy robe with one thin coat, you can see there. But it's not quite enough coverage to cover the blue, so I'm going to use a second thin coat to really cover up the white, to really make it white. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to be using transparent paint, crusader skin, and uh, light tone to color the hair and face. Uh, everything else, we're going to use these paints for details and such. The blue tone will go over the silver to make it look like blue steel, like Zoolander. Yep, you can see blue tone. I use blue tone on all, to get into the recesses. The last step is the bases. And for this, is actually really cheap. You just use a pile of sand and some uh, Elmer's glue. And I'll show you how to do it in a second. It's just regular, plain old sand. I got it from the hardware store, um, so there's no bug eggs or anything like that in there. But yeah, you just uh, you just smear some glue on there. Uh, I would use both hands for this ordinarily, but just smear glue all over the base and then dunk it in the sand like so. These models are made by Reaper. Uh, make sure to varnish them with anti-shine varnish because some of the cloth parts are going to be a little shiny. Uh, these are Army Painter Meadow Flowers and some green stuff that I got from, I believe it was Woodland Scenics. This is uh, called Lichen. It's not, it's not drugs or anything. And then, yep, there you go. That's it. 